Welcome to another video about how to map hiking trails. So I started off on the bus to Bennett's Bridge. It's the 882 Kilbride Coaches. And it's 4 euros 50 to get there. It's 17 euros to take a taxi. I know that because I met some people in Bennett's Bridge and we shared a taxi back. Um, so that's from Bennett's Bridge from Mosses to the castle in Kilkenny. It would be 17 euros on in a taxi. But of course don't take a taxi, take the bus. And that's only the prices for, what have we, May 2022. So you get on the bus. The bus leaves in Kilkenny at 11.30 at, outside the castle. It takes 30 minutes to get to Bennett's Bridge. And then you can just start walking. There are no signs for the bus stop in Bennett's Bridge. So you have to ask if you want to go back on the bus. You have to go and ask in the post office. Or check OpenStreetMap, of course, because I've already mapped the bus stops. If you want to start mapping with Osmond on your phone or upload your tracks, you have to connect to your OpenStreetMap account. And you do that by going to the menu, clicking on the plugins. Make sure you have your OpenStreetMap editing plugin enabled, which turns the icon orange. And then you can go into settings and click on login to OpenStreetMap, sign in with OpenStreetMap and type in your username and your password. I have already done that before, so it won't ask me that again. Grant access. And Bob's your uncle. So there I am in Bennett's Bridge at the car park. There's also a charging station for an e-vehicle. So if you want to come in your e-vehicle, you can charge it there. That's very practical. Before you start recording your track, you have to be logged in. I've showed that just before. And then you press record at the top right there. And that starts recording the track and you're just on your merry way. And the little arrow there will follow you around. And if you have activated it, it will follow you around and show the track that you've walked. And the logging interval there is five seconds. You can change that if you want to, but it worked for me. So that's, that's grand, I think, for walking. And you just press start and it starts recording your track. And when you're finished, you click on finish. And then you can rename your track as well if you want to. Which makes sense if you do this a lot. Or just to be a bit more organized. And to upload your track to OpenStreetMap, you go into Menu, My Places. And you might have renamed your track to what it's called, in this case, O'Gorman's Loop. And you click on that in your list of tracks and click on Upload to OpenStreetMap. And you can add a description. Or you have to add a description, I think, to upload. You can put in whatever. And then you can change the visibility to private there and click upload. And that should upload it to OpenStreetMap. And we'll check what it looks like there. So the trailhead is here, this car park. And I've decided to map the tracks first or the pathways that aren't mapped yet because there are quite a few and I will do the rest in the next video and I might actually split it into three I haven't decided yet but in this one we will add the missing pathways so just like the last time we'll go into GPS traces at the top menu to my traces and then whatever um, track you're trying to map. The top one is the last one you've added. So you click on edit map and you have it displayed here in this pink color. I got a bit lost along the way, so there's a bit more track than there needs to be. Um, but just like um, in the last video, you see that the trail goes a bit all over the place and the little rings here, the little circles that are the trailheads. I'll do that in the next video. So it goes up here and then it goes into this turns left here. And this is actually called O'Gorman's Lane. So there's a little bit of history in this after all. Because this is called O'Gorman's Lane and this is what the whole trail is named after. And I have to change this from highway track into highway path because it's not wide enough 
for a tractor. And that will change the, the way it looks a little bit. And I'll continue it on onto the next bit. And it's a bit tricky here. I think the original O'Gorman's Lane, there are two tree lines here. The original O'Gorman's Lane, as you can see, I walked in for a little bit, went that way, but that's not where the track goes. So let's me, let me just continue the track along here. Just following the hedge there. And then squeezer style along on this side of the hedge to here across another style and then I'll finish it here and I'll add a little tractor track here because that goes into the field and this is highway track or you can just type in track okay I'll go back here and split it off here and add another pathway here. It looked really more like a dry riverbed or something. I'll go, I didn't go all the way in as you can see go up to here and add another path here and highlight this bit that I didn't go in and the one that is part of the track and add the name O Gorman's Lane. So there's no sign like in a town you have signs for streets. There isn't a sign on this building here, but it says here on this trail marker crossroad carefully onto O Gorman's Lane so that we can deduct that this bit is called O Gorman's Lane. So that's what I've added there. And I also want to add the tree lines here. and um, tree row, sorry. You can type in tree row and the correct tag is natural equals tree underscore row. And then there's another one here. And I will do a bit more tidying up when I'm finished. Oh, sorry, now I've crossed the pathway. <laughs> up to here, let's see. And I did papillary along the way with the 360 degree camera. So whenever that's finished uploading, I have uploaded it, but it's not public yet. I will put a link in the description and you can go and do the whole walk digitally, which is not as healthy as walking it properly. And then we have another tree line here, flanking the O'Gorman's Lane. And another one here that it doesn't go quite as far So this is one that was missing and the other one was over here, that's where I got lost, here. The Nora River walk continues under the Carlo Jude October motor motorway, number M9, I thought it was, the M9, it goes under this bridge, but the trail for the O'Gorman's Loop goes up here. So I added a wooden fence, which was here. This is the wooden fence that goes under the bridge. Of course, in the photograph, you can't see that it's 3D, but you can do that in OSM. So there's a step over style that I marked here. So I'll just double click here to add a node. You can also just add a point and barrier style. And then you have the type and I'll do a video about styles at some point. And this was a step over style. And I can continue that path here. And it joined here and mark it as a path. Actually, it was a bit further down here, to be honest, because it was kind of straight onto this one. That'll do nicely. And then I walked up here. And there's another pathway here. I'll continue that in a second. So there's the railway um, 
from Kilkenny to I'm not quite sure. I think to Dublin. I think it's the Kilkenny Dublin line. And the path goes under it and it's a narrow it's a low bridge. There was a sign on the bridge saying low bridge. Oh it's actually here, sorry. There, that's the bridge. Um but there was no height and you could add that to the bridge, the max height, but there wasn't a sign and it's just for walking, so it doesn't really matter. Unless you're two meters fifty high you might bang your head, but otherwise you don't. Anyway, there was another step over style here. And I think I left a note instead of adding it, yes. So another point barrier style. And it's a step over. And I think it was made of wood. Mostly. And then low bridge here, that's another note I left. So I have to... You see that it says, gives me a warning here, train track crosses path. Which, you know, it, it sometimes it does that, but in this case there is a tunnel there, so I can add a bridge or a tunnel, but it might get it wrong, so I'll do it manually. So I'll split this line here by clicking on that dot, and then on the little scissors, that'll separate these two lines, but I also have to do that here. So I can highlight this bit and... I put in tunnel. Yes. So this is actually not, this is marked as uh, scrub, which it isn't actually. I'll just continue the, the pathway here. So you click on the last uh, point on your line, right click and then there's this plus and you can continue the line. And it comes out onto this road. And there were was a tree line here, tree row, sorry, and another tree row here. Oops. And a trail marker that was actually on this side. Just gonna add this now so I don't forget. Trail marker. And another squeezer style here. So, um, barrier style, oops, and it was a squeezer. Well, actually, there was just a gate here, and there was about 50 centimeters, 60 centimeters space between the gate and another fence here, but I think that counts as a squeezer style. And the surface here, I could actually add that as well, was grass. So that comes up for a path or any highway. The surface bit comes up here on the left, or you can go down and type in surface grass. So those are the missing tracks, I think. And I will save this now. Added missing pathways. And it's styles, etc. Because I can't remember. And I'll use the ha hashtag fresh for. No, this is not the fresh fruit loop. O'Gorman's loop. Sources survey and GPS. That should do. Upload this. and go to the OpenStreetMap website, openstreetmap.org, wait for a little bit, and then I will refresh the page and see if the pathways are showing. I mean, there should be. Can I also point out, while we're waiting, how wonderfully all these field names are mapped here around Bennett's Bridge. There is a lady living near Bennett's Bridge, and I got her started on mapping, and she went around during lockdown and mapped all these field names. And it's amazing. And there's a lot of history in those, like the Killen Field, for example, and somewhere as Gwelge. So, a really, really great job that she did there. Ishke Baha, you know, Ishke Lusach, I don't know. So, great stuff there. 
I think we've waited long enough. Uh, the pathway should be here. Refresh. It's actually over here because it was next to the building. Oops. So um, we have O'Gorman's Lane here now. I might have forgotten to put it on this one. I thought I highlighted both. But we have the pathway now. The pathways are uh, red dotted lines. And you see it joins the trackway there. So that's one. And the other one is here. So it goes under the railway. We have the style here, the pathway with the three rows, and the other style here. And I shall see you in the next video when we're going to add the relation for this loop and then add a few things to the relation. I won't do the whole loop in the video because it's going to be too long. See you in the next one. Slan.